For the second time in Video Awards history from the ITV studios in Lakeland, Florida, join us for a special virtual edition of our show. Tonight, we honor our talented video editors, writers, and on-screen talent who exemplify creative excellence in video production and film. Using 21st century skills, our 5,000 students and teachers bring their ideas to life, setting the standard by which all other television production programs are measured. Our show is made possible by the generous donations from Class Link, Safari Montage, Lightspeed, Polk Education Foundation, Camcor, Smiley's Audiovisual, and Bomar's Trophy Shop. Welcome to the 29th Annual Polk County Public Schools Video Awards. Now, without further ado, join us in recognizing our students of the year. Madison McDowell, Madison Thomas, Jessica Jackson, Heaven Belay, Libby Waldron, Savani Peters, Aubrey Kuhn. The ITV Award goes to our single nominee for short film, Southwest. Congratulations. This is Southwest's fourth win for short film. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Reporting live from the sanitation station, I'm Crystal Queen, reporting for SWTV. Our breaking news story is the continuing search for the sanitizer and her trusty psychic, Mr. Mask. They are the newest Cape Crusaders, bravely battling to protect the citizens around town in the war against germs and viruses. No one knows their true identities, where their hideout is, or how they got their superpowers. Reports are rolling in from all over our fair metropolis praising this dynamic duo for their fight in the war germs. High in the sky, away from large gatherings, the sanitizer and her trusty psychic, Mr. Mask, are always on the alert. They are ready to repel viruses at moment's notice. Look! Up in the sky! It's a bird! It's a plane! What is it? I'm the sanitizer. When someone needs help staying healthy and avoiding illness, Count on the sanitizer. If you've ever wondered if you've been contaminated by the dark side, the sanitizer is ready. In times of worry, surrounded by others touching shared objects, the sanitizer is there. Hey, sidekicks are important too. I'm Mr. Mask. I block the evil spread of germs and viruses. My super powerful shield protects me and it protects you too. That's right. Just yesterday, we saved an unsuspecting student from the forces of evil. Oh yeah, that was awesome. Yes, it was. First, I helped this young woman by making sure her hands were clean after she touched this doorknob, a popular trap set by evil viruses. Then I jumped in and protected her friend's face from any airborne particles that might try to get to her while she was looking for the perfect library book. So you see, working together makes us stronger, and it can help protect others, too. Oh yeah, like yesterday when that class was walking into the lunchroom. Right, I sanitized their hands, and your masking powers protected their faces. Double, Double power! That was awesome. Oh, and remember that other time? Uh, excuse me. Oh, don't mind us. We were just saving the world. I thought our hideout was a secret. Well, it was a secret. The whole city has been searching for you. I can't believe I found you. This is awesome. I'm going to put this on the morning news. I'll be famous. You'll be even more famous. Oh, great. Now everyone will be all over the place in here. Can I have your autograph? Will you take a picture with me? Ah, oh, we'll never get anything done. That's it. I can't take it anymore. I'm retired. No more public service for me. Here's my cape. Here's my sanitizer spray. I'm out of here. What? Wait for me. Here. Take this. Well, um, oh geez. I guess that's it, folks. Newsflash. The sanitizer and her psychic, Mr. Mask, have officially retired. It looks like we're on our own from now on. So, everyone. Please remember what we learned from the sanitizer. Keep your hands clean and away from your face. Don't forget that your mask is your shield to protect you from the enemy. Stay safe and be well. 
This is Crystal Clean, reporting for SWTV News, signing off. Let's meet our nominees for Instructional Academic Video. Southwest. Lena Vista. The ITV award goes to Lena Vista. This is Lena Vista's first win for Instructional Academic Video. Hey Wildcats, Nivea here to talk to you about friction. Do you know what friction is? How does it work? Is there anything cool we can do with it? Let's go check it out. Before we start, friction is a force between two different surfaces that are sliding, rolling, or resting. Friction is a force that goes against each other. An example of this would be your pencil eraser. How do you think the eraser does its job? By rubbing the eraser where the pencil wrote, we create friction. As you might have guessed, friction like this will also produce heat. Another way this can be seen is by rubbing your hands together. Quickly, go ahead, give it a try. Did you feel the heat while cats? Friction will always be moving in the opposite direction of its conflicting object. That means it will always be slowing down the moving object. Have you ever wondered why you don't slip when walking on a slippery surface? It's because your shoes have tread on the bottom of them. This is what will cause the friction between your shoes and the ground and prevent you from sliding. Let's go check out friction in action. Let's start with the easy one. You are at the PE court and you see a ball rolling. Is it going to keep rolling or is it eventually going to stop? That's right, it will eventually stop. When the ball is rolling in one direction, the force of the friction is working on the opposite direction. This is why it stopped. Friction caused the ball to slow down and eventually stop. After it stopped, friction also kept the ball in place. Let's look at another example. Let's say you're lighting a match. What causes the match to light? Hopefully you said friction. When you rub the match against the box, friction will heat up the match. When heated, the match creates a chemical reaction that creates the fire. Let's go look at another example of friction. This example uses a lot of friction. Tires on a bicycle need a lot of friction to help it go forward. Instantly, as you pedal, the tire turns and is pushing backwards on the road. This is what propels you to go forward. However, if you are braking, the force of the friction will be pointing in the opposite direction. Pretty cool, right? Let's get practical. Let's go check out an experiment where friction is at work. All right, Wildcats, we have two different experiments here to show you. The first one involves books. Let's take these two books right here. If we loosely put the pages together, like this, it's easy to pull apart. But what happens if you lace the pages together one at a time? Let's go check it out. Did you figure out how it works? Of course, the answer is friction. When we loosely put the pages together, there is only a little bit of friction. This made it easy to pull apart. However, when we interlaced every single page, the amount of friction increased by a lot. Each page was making was 
holding on to another page making it almost impossible to pull apart. Let's go check out one more experiment. Here we have a bottle and some rice. Would you believe me if I told you I could pick up the bottle of rice with just a skewer? Normally, when you stick the skewer in, it will come back up without an issue. But watch what happens when we pack the rice and try again. Now with the rice packed in tightly, we will try again. Look, it's floating. Pretty cool, right? Why do you think the compact rice is stronger friction? and was able to hold up the bottle. Due to lack of entries, a winner of documentary will not be announced. Let's meet our nominees for technical mastery. Crystal Lake, Southwest, Blake Academy. The ITV award goes to Southwest. This is Southwest's second win for technical mastery. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Reporting live from the sanitation station, I'm Crystal Clean, reporting for SWTV. Our breaking news story is the continuing search for the sanitizer and her trusty psychic, Mr. Mask. Reports are rolling in from all over our fair metropolis, praising this dynamic duo for their fight in the war germs. High in the sky, away from large gatherings, the sanitizer and her trusty psychic, Mr. Mask, are always on the alert. They are ready to repel viruses at moment's notice. Look! Up in the sky! It's a bird! It's a plane! What is it? I'm the sanitizer. When someone needs help staying healthy and avoiding illness, count on the sanitizer. Hey, sidekicks are important too. I'm Mr. Mass. I block the evil spread of germs and viruses. My super powerful shield protects me and it protects you too. That's right. Just yesterday we saved an unsuspecting student from the forces of evil. Oh yeah, that was awesome. Yes, it was. First, I helped this young woman by making sure her hands were clean after she touched this doorknob, a popular trap set by evil viruses. Then I jumped in and protected her friend's face from any airborne particles that might try to get to her while she was looking for the perfect library book. So you see, working together makes us stronger and it can help protect others too. Oh yeah, like yesterday when that class was walking into the lunchroom. Right, I sanitized their hands and your masking powers protected their faces. Double, Double power! That was awesome. Oh, and remember that other time? Uh, excuse me. Oh, don't mind us. We were just saving the world. I thought our hideout was a secret. Well, it was a secret. The whole city has been searching for you. I can't believe I found you. This is awesome. I'm gonna put this on the morning news. I'll be famous. You'll be even more famous. Oh, great. Now everyone will be all over the place in here. Can I have your autograph? Will you take a picture with me? Ah, we'll never get anything done. That's it. I can't take it anymore. I'm retired. No more public service for me. Here's my cape. Here's my sanitizer spray. I'm out of here. What? Wait for me! Here! Take this! Well, um, oh geez. I guess that's it, folks. Let's meet our nominees for announcing team. Sleepy Hill. Southwest. Lena Vista, Chain of Lakes. 
The ITV award goes to Southwest. This is Southwest's first win for announcing team. I've already been with Castle Hangout. I just finished it. Oh, really? Do you like it? Yeah, it's amazing. Girls! Ninja mode! What? Now that we are ninjas, we have to be quiet for the good of the FSA testers. And here's the best part. You can be an FSA ninja too. And here's some super stealthy ninja skills. Voices are at level zero on the sidewalks and hallways. Ninjas are silent. Don't stomp on the metal ramps outside their doors. Ninjas are stealthy. Don't peek through the windows. Ninjas are never seen. Watch for these bright pink signs on 3rd, 4th, 5th, and resource classrooms. When you see them, that means it's time for you to go into ninja mode. That way, you let these hard-working students do their very best to concentrate on their work. Ninjas are alert. Watch for the signs and be ready for ninja, ninja mode. Let's meet our nominees for female announcer. Lena Vista. Lofman Oaks. Carlton Palmore. Blake Academy. Spessard L. Holland. Davenport School of the Arts. Southwest. Sleepy Hill. Crystal Lake. The ITV award goes to Davenport School of the Arts. This is Davenport School of the Arts' third win for female announcer. Start the morning show. Hey guys, it's me, Ashlyn, on Facts News. And today I'm going to be telling you guys about some ocean facts. So let's get started. First cool fact of the day. The ocean is 70% of the Earth's surface. Second cool fact of the day. Only 5% or less of our oceans have been explored. Man, we need to get exploring. Third cool fact of the day. Did you know it's possible to find rivers and lakes beneath the ocean? I didn't, did you? Thanks for joining me on my cool adventure today. Hope you can make it to the next one on Facts News with Ashlyn. Let's meet our nominees for male announcer. Spessard L. Holland. Chain of Lakes. Carlton Palmore. Southwest. The ITV award goes to Southwest. This is Southwest's second win for male announcer. Sporty Spurs, it's time for a PE update. I'm out here on the PE court to check out the action and to give you the latest information about PE. Our current unit in PE is exploring applying force to objects. Not the force. We aren't Jedi Knights. Yet. I'm talking about using body parts such as hands and feet to apply force to objects by striking them, hitting, kicking, and throwing a ball all use different types of forces. Sometimes force makes something move and sometimes it can stop motion. How much movement you cause depends on how much force you use. We're learning how much force to use and which directions to apply the force in order to control the ball in games like kickball, four square, volleyball, and soccer. And like always, we are working on cooperating and working together and being good teammates. Finally, Coach Howell wanted me to remind you of his expectation. Expectation one, 
Wear the right shoes, which are tennis shoes. No heels or boots. Sit down with your feet crossed on your dot and listen carefully to the directions. The better you listen, the sooner you can get up and have fun. Expectation three. No writing or drawing on the court. Seriously. This is our home away from home. Keep it nice. Expectation four. Always try your best and have fun. That's it for this PE update. Think about what forces you use next time you're at a PE. The ITV award goes to our single nominee for music video, Southwest. Congratulations. This is Southwest's fourth win for music video. I'm sitting at home, feeling alone. At first it seemed like fun, I've got the quarantine blues. Stuck in quarantine, school is on the screen. No, I don't wanna Zoom with you. I miss all my friends, the day just never ends. Seeing your dads on socialized quarantine blues. Talking to my cat, he's not Let's meet our nominees for commercial. Southwest. Lena Vista. Lofman Oaks. Crystal Lake. The ITV award goes to Southwest. This is Southwest's first win for commercial. Okay guys, it's time you know the truth. Smensels don't make your schoolwork any easier. Don't make the day go by any faster. Smensels don't even make you more popular. Smensels don't make you smarter. But there's a lot Smensels can do. Smensels do make your schoolwork a little less stressful. Smensels do make the day a little less boring. Smensels can even make you smile more which might help you make new friends. Smentos can make you feel smarter. What if your school was invaded by dinosaurs and a T-Rex came in your classroom and you had the best idea to distract it with a delicious smelling Smentzel so your class, friends, and even your teacher could escape? Wait, 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 wait. I thought we were being real here. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Smensels can inspire your imagination. Now that you know the truth, buy a Smensel. Only one dollar Friday. And watch out for dinosaurs.
Let's meet our nominees for Daily News Show. Lofman Oaks. Davenport School of the Arts. Crystal Lake. Chain of Lakes. Sleepy Hill. Spessard L. Holland. Blake Academy. Carlton Palmore. Lena Vista. Congratulations to our outstanding news shows. Now let's see who our excellent news shows are. Chain of Lakes, Crystal Lake, Sleepy Hill, and Spessard L. Holland. Congratulations. Now let's see who our superior news shows are. Davenport School of the Arts, Lofman Oaks. Congratulations to all of our schools for the amazing news shows this year. Our most distinguished honor of the evening, named after the creator of the video awards, is the Dr. David Yates Best in Show Award. Let's meet our finalists for Best in Show. Sleepy Hill, Lofman Oaks, Chain of Lakes, Crystal Lake, Lena Vista. Hello, I'm Dr. David Yates, and it is my honor to announce the Best in Show for elementary schools in the 2021 Video Awards Ceremony. The best in show this year goes to Southwest Elementary School. Congratulations, TV production teacher Jen Kerr and students. Congratulations to all our winners and thank you for watching. Students of the year will receive their medallions and a congratulatory letter in the mail. Schools will receive their certificates and trophies soon. We hope to see you in person for the 30th Annual Video Award Ceremony.